Yo, what's up everyone? So I just want to start off this video by saying that this was recorded about a month ago, just a couple of days before we moved into the new house. I'm now fully moved in and I've got everything set up and streaming again, but I just wanted to make sure I recorded the setup video in the old house and get it uploaded as soon as possible to show where I was streaming from for my first 10 months of streaming. I'll obviously do an updated setup tour in the new house once we're settled in and I have the room properly set up the way I want it to. But yeah, I just really wanted to make sure I captured the room I began streaming in and got it uploaded as like a 2019 to 2020 setup video kind of thing. It'll be great to look back on and see that this is where it all began, you know? Also, please ignore the average video quality and poor audio quality from my phone. Like I said, I really want to make sure I got this done before we moved out. Anyways, let's get this video going and pass it on to Pondent from a month ago. So I've already recorded um, the setup tour already, or tried to at least. Uh, I hired a camera for my course, and um, the camera quality is great, don't get me wrong, but the focusing, you have to manually focus it. So the whole video, I'm just like spending the time just manually focusing, and it, it took forever, and because I, I was t taking my time trying to do it, um, I was screwing up what I was saying, and like, yeah, it, it, just, made the, it just made the setup tour very slow and very... Um, yeah, I just wasn't thinking about what I'm saying. So I'm redoing this on my phone, the Google Pixel 3a. Um, it's still pretty good quality, or really good quality. Um, it's just a bit, um, like, a bit shaky, I guess you could say. And when you turn the stabilization on the phone, then it, it just, like, distorts it and shit. Uh, but yeah, it's better than nothing. I still think it's going to be great quality. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, so here's the door. You open the door, and here is my set up. So, uh, here's the entire room. On the left, we've got some wardrobes, and then we go around. Here's the setup, and then to the right, and there's the wall. we got the window on my left. Um, so, yeah, let's shut the door and get into it. So, on the door itself, we have got the uh, some, some soundproofing foam, and uh, down on the bottom, we've got a draft stopper just to try to stop as much uh, noise as possible getting in and out. Uh, but yeah, let's start on the back of the room. So over here, we've got my dining room chair with the good old orange pillow on it. So this is the chair I use when I'm doing wheel racing. Um, because if I use my office chair, uh, it slides a lot when I brake. And uh, it doesn't go as low as I want it to. This just slightly goes lower and obviously is way more stable. Um, but yeah, we should be getting rid of this in the new house. We will be using, um, we'll be using the uh, wheel stand, if you remember the stream where I spent four hours trying to set it up and it didn't even fit in this room. So we should be using that in the new house. Uh, above it, we've got a Stranger Things three po uh, straight Stranger Things three poster. Um, absolutely great TV show. I love the entire series. It's kind of it's the show that got me into media. Besides from broadcast, I'm obviously uh, going to my media course for specifically for broadcast. But um, Stranger Things was kind of the show that made me realize, like you know, I actually love uh, some TV shows and. You know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind getting into like creating TV shows and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's just a great show. I love it. Um, but yeah, moving down behind the desk. Uh, so I've got all this room behind the desk. You're probably wondering why I like to put my desk in the middle of the room. Um, for me, it's just like, it's just I like the space behind me. You know, you've got a lot of space behind me. Um, but if if I had the desk up against that wall, it's just too much space. I like kind of being having something behind me. It's a bit more comfortable, a bit more cozy. And if I had it up against there, you've got all the light coming in from the window and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just like having my desk like this. A bit more, it's a bit more cozy. It also means like people who come in the door like don't directly be on camera and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so it also allows me to have all my cable management and stuff behind the desk. It's really easy to just swap things out, unplug things when I need to. Um, you know, it's, it's very rare you, like, upgrade stuff, but when you do, it's so much easier to do. If you need to fix something, it's uh, real easy. But, yeah, down here, we've got my PC. Um, so, I saved up this uh, for this PC for about a year or two. Um, oh, can you see me? Hello. Um, yeah, I saved up this PC for about a year or two. Uh, it's absolute beast. Uh, we've got a 2080 Ti from um, Gigabyte, the Aorus edition. Uh, we've got an Intel Core i9-9900K for the processor. We've got 32 gigabytes of G-Skill RAM. Um, what else have we got? The Gigabyte motherboard, uh, a Samsung SSD, and NVMe, NVMe um, for memory. And I think that's about it. Um, obviously, the Corsair cooler on top. And I think it's called a Masterx case, or Matrix case. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice case. You've got a nice 
glass panel at the front with three fans. Um, and yeah, it's just a great looking PC and an absolute beast. I'm so happy I saved up for it because it does the job of streaming and gaming really well. Now you're probably wondering what is this below it? So this is the styrofoam like um, protection thing that comes in the in the box when you buy the case. Um, and I decided to keep that there underneath the case so it's off of the carpet. Um, as you can see, like, the vents where the air comes in are actually really clean. My old PC used to be filled with dust and carpet. Um, so yeah, this actually works keeping it off, off the ground. So I really recommend you get something like that because it really does keep your PC clean. Like, I haven't cleaned this in about a year and I can't see any dust in it at all. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, but yeah, moving on to the desk itself now actually let's go to the let's go to the uh, uh the shelf first so yeah this shelf is kind of a new addition to the stream i think i added it to the room a few months ago um as you can see it's a very very big wall um and obviously uh on stream it kind of looked like a isolation chamber <laughs> or like a jail cell it didn't really look that great at first i thought i, I liked it plain because it's like clean and sleek but once we added the shelves, I can't go back. I can't believe how much of a difference it makes to the feel of the stream. Uh, but yeah, on the top shelf, we've got uh, the Call of Duty shelf. We've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The game, uh, this box itself actually, first ever video game I bought, uh, pre-ordered, pre first ever video game I bought with my own money. Um, it's kind of what started my gaming journey, so I absolutely love that. Uh, that box. Here we've got the Call of Duty Ghost pre-order box. I actually bought this off eBay for like $8.00. Um, just to have the collector's item. Call of Duty Ghost was a, uh, was a pretty good game. But yeah, when I saw that on eBay for like 8 bucks, I was like, may as well buy that. Because, you know, uh, it's got all the collector's items, and items inside. Um, and then we've got the pop vinyls. Uh, we've got Sergeant Frank Woods. Uh, Captain Price. Uh, some zombie and a, the Gilly guy from COD 4, Modern Warfare. Um, yeah, I like these. Actually, it's funny because I don't think they sell the Call of Duty pop vinyls anymore. And I believe this one goes for like 200 bucks now. Which is crazy. Um... You know, I don't collect pop vinyls, but, um, you know, one, uh, as I, uh, I'll show down here, the Post Malone one on the next shelf, um, one day I found him uh, in EB Games, and he's really rare, they weren't selling him anymore, and I found him, and I was like, I love Post Malone, I'm buying that. Went home, searched up the price, selling for like double the price, and I was like, damn, I wonder how much the rest of my pop vinyls sell for. And uh, yeah, the Call of Duty ones don't get made anymore, so I believe he gets sold for about 200 bucks. Um, obviously in box, I don't have them in box because I don't collect them. Uh, I obviously keep the rare ones in the box, you know, I got the Post Malone one. And as you see in a second, we've got some more in the boxes. Uh, next to the Post Malone pop vinyl, we have got uh, the Bear Bongs and Bentley, Bentley's album from Post Malone uh, himself. Uh, I'm going to get the rest of his albums. I'm going to get the Stony and the uh, Hollywood's Bleeding album at some point and put them up next to him. But yeah, uh, actually, uh, for anyone wondering, my helmet design uh, for AFR League, the... Uh, the league I'm running for F1 2020, uh, is based off of this album design. Uh, so, yeah, it's really cool to have on the stream. Uh, next to it, we've just got some four random energy drink cans. Um, I actually bought these two before I even got into motorsport at all. Uh, so, yeah, this is Lewis Hamilton's Monster Energy can and Valentino Rossi's uh, Monster can as well. Um, I don't know why I have these there. I, I, I just think it looks cool. And, I mean, I guess these two kind of suit the racing theme for my stream and stuff like that. And then the next to it is some Rockstar Energy Drinks with some cool designer. I don't know. It just looks good, I reckon. Uh, and then on the bottom shelf, we've got the Stranger Things Pop Vinyl Collection. Like, as I was saying before, Stranger Things, fantastic show. Uh, so, we've obviously got Eleven, Mike, Dustin, uh, Hopper, Steve, Will, um, oh, what's his name? Lucas. Billy, uh, and the Demogorgon. I actually really like this one, the way they designed him. Uh, and then back here, we've got the two rare ones. We've got the uh, the gold Demogorgon, the uh, 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition. And then back here, we've got Mr. Clark, the 2017 Summer Convention Exclusive. Um, yeah, uh, for anyone who doesn't know much about pop vinyls, uh, these aren't worth more than these. It's just they're, they come out for a limited amount of time. Uh, so obviously, don't not as many get made. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm not a pop vinyl collector, but if there's a video game or a show that I like, I will buy them. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on now to the rest of the setup, or what, what you guys are probably been waiting for, the setup itself. Uh, here's a full view of it. Now, we'll go through it one by one. But yeah, starting over here with my, uh, with my wheel stand. Oh my god, the lens on the phone is so like zoomed in, it's so hard to get in shot. Anyways, uh... 
Here is my wheel and wheel stand. So we've got the Logitech G29 uh, wheel and pedals on our next level racing wheel stand. Uh, we just recently bought these uh, wheels to go on the stand so it's much more easy to move around. But yeah, all I need to do is I just need to wheel it over underneath my desk and uh, put the USB cable in the computer and the power cable in the back of the in the back of the uh, power adapter. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe one day I'll uh, upgrade the wheel. A lot of people are saying I should because of the amount of um, racing games I play and because of the stream. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with this for now. Now, when we move house, like I was saying with the dining room chair, we should be upgrading to the proper uh, challenger seat. Um, I'm, I'm sure we've got room and I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm going to set it up. Uh, I just went and looked at the house the other day and it the setup room is pretty big. Um, it's smaller than this room, but the way it's set out can work well. Um, having it up against the wall. You'll see in the next video. Uh, anyways, moving on to the headset, I've got the HyperX Cloud Flight. Uh, I just like, recently upgraded from the Logitech G533. Um, yeah, the HyperX is a great headset. It's not anything fantastic, but um, it's very, very comfortable, great sounding quality. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with it, really. I mean, it's nothing, again, it's nothing, like, perfect. Uh, I'm not like, oh my god, this is fantastic, but it, it's a great headset, and I highly recommend it, um, if you're looking for something wireless. Um, and then, going up on each corner of my desk, I've got a newer light stand. Uh, it's just a, uh, both these were 20 bucks, or 10 bucks each, I, I believe, off of Amazon, and these are fantastic. Um... These light up, so this one's used as kind of like the fill light to fill the shadows that are caused from the key light over here. So this is the main light that goes on my face. This light fills the shadows on my face and also puts light onto the bookshelf because if I had that off, the bookshelf's just dark. Now, if you're new to streaming or you want to know what's next to upgrade, if you don't have lights, buy them. They're cheap and they make such a difference. If you pay 200 bucks for a webcam or 100 bucks or whatever for a webcam, just buy a $20 light or two because it makes such a big difference to the stream. Um, yeah, and they come with these stands as well, and they're fantastic, you adjust the brightness, and you plug them straight into your computer. Um, but yeah, I was mentioning with the cables before, I forgot to mention with the cables before, that there is a, they are a bit messy right now, but that's kind of because I was like, I'll be moving soon, I'll just do it properly when we move. Uh, but for the most part, they're pretty good. Um, but yeah, coming back over to the desk now, uh, we've got my Logitech G303 mouse. Um, now, when I was playing CS competitively, I used to buy any, pretty much any new mouse that came out that looked like uh, I'd be interested in, and I'd try it out. Um, for me, trying out mice um, was was fun, and uh, I'd just buy them, try them out, and resell them for, you know, 10 or 20 bucks cheaper than what I bought them for, because I just wanted to find the perfect mouse, and once I came across the Logitech G303, it's just the, the perfect mouse for me. Um, I don't know why, it's just... I love it so much. Now, I used to have uh, one that was power corded or modded with a power cord and uh, and proper mouse feet, um, but unfortunately that broke, so I had to buy another one, which I haven't got around to power cording and putting new mouse feet on yet, so I'll do that when we move into the new house. Uh, but yeah, I got the mouse on the Steel Series QCK, on the QCK Plus or the QCK Large. I uh, love this mouse pad. Um, I've not really changed for, forever with this mouse pad. I've tried a few others, but this is one that's just feels great for me. Uh, we've got the mouse connected to a Zowie Kamade mouse uh, bungee for anyone who doesn't know it just keeps your mouse from snagging on the back of the desk. It's good for uh, when you're playing first person shooters. Um, now my monitor is a BenQ XLR XL2546 uh, 244, uh, 240 hertz monitor. Um, yeah if you've got a 144 hertz monitor I highly I wouldn't say, I, sorry, if you've got a 60Hz monitor, I highly recommend upgrading to 144Hz, but from 144 to 240, it's very minimal difference. I have to say, like, you know, I, I play competitively and I just I barely notice the difference. I don't know if it's worth the money, but uh, yeah, I've got a 240Hz monitor. It does the job, or it does more than what I want it to do. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, and then on the left, we've got my second monitor, which is just a Dell 19-inch monitor from my dad's work. It's actually a really good monitor for color, so... um. Yeah, I pretty much just, I, I actually, I'll show you how I've got this monitor set up. On the left hand side, we have got my Steam friends list, just so I can see what my friends are up to, um, and invite people easily. Uh, and then in between, we've got uh, Discord, so obviously when I'm chatting, I can see who I'm talking to. And then we've got Streamlabs. Now, I really need to get a third monitor, because as you can see, the alert section is very small. I can only see three followers at once, and if someone subscribes like Quinto has uh, here, um, it kind of takes up the whole alert 
box, so I can only see a few at a time. And as for the chat, I can only see about 10 messages at once. Um, so if the chat's moving quickly or someone types a long paragraph in chat, I tend to miss it. So I really want to get another monitor just for chat and alerts, and then this, this um, section of Streamlabs can just be for the preview. Um, but yeah, that's how I've got it all set up. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the keyboard. So this is my sexy keyboard. Uh, it's the Ducky 1-2 Mini Pure White. Absolutely love this keyboard. I've got the MX Silver Switches. Um, yeah, they're a faster switch than usual. I decided, I used to use browns, but I decided to upgrade to the silver. Um, I just felt like it would be better, and it, and it is for me. Uh, but yeah, absolutely great keyboard. Next to it, we've got the Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, I just recently purchased this. I'm going to admit, I don't use this that much. I've only got two folders. I've got one that has all the world timers, which I still haven't even set up. And then I've got my streaming folder. Uh, let's see if we can focus on this. So yeah, so we've got uh, a scenes folder, which obviously has all my scenes. We've got a Spotify folder for my Spotify. We've got an advert folder just so I can easily run ads at different times. Um, we've got the, up here, we've got the amount of viewers uh, who are watching the stream. Uh, we've got open clips, so they'll open my most recently clipped clip. Uh, we've then got the clip button itself. Uh, stream marker, which means it will add a marker to the stream for later if I want to get like a video or something. Um, then we've got uh, speaker mute, microphone mute, mute alerts, and skip alert. I don't really use any of those. To be honest, all I use this for is the clip and the marker, and it's really helped me like keep track of what I need for YouTube and stuff. Uh, so it's been great, but maybe I'll properly set it up one day. Uh, but yeah, moving up, we've got my webcam, the Logitech Brio 4K. I don't use it for 4K, obviously, but it's a fantastic webcam. It's quite dusty because... I guess it's the highest thing in the room and I, I don't need to clean it. Um, but yeah, I've got this on like a cheap Amazon um, tripod. Uh, oh, what's it? Not tripod, uh, stand. Um, and yeah, like I said, you, this verb cam needs a lot of light, especially. Um, but yeah, get those lights and it makes such a big difference. Um, moving down over to my microphone. Actually, we'll go back here first. So this is the Scarlett, Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Now this is the interface that powers the microphone and sends the uh, sends the audio to the computer. Uh, that's ran. Um, that runs a an XLR cable was ran to it around the back of the computer up to my Rode PSA microphone stand, uh, which is connected to the Audio Technica AT2020 with a uh, shock mount and pop filter on it. Uh, fantastic microphone. All I can say is if you're getting into streaming or you want a better quality microphone for a decent price, I highly recommend the Audio Technica AT2020. With a, with a cheap interface. This isn't a too cheap of an interface, but you can get cheaper. But yeah, it's great quality. I mean, you know, you see these streamers with these big expensive blue microphones or these Shure microphones um, or Rode. Um, but honestly, this, you, you can't tell much difference between this and like those high quality microphones uh, because, it, you know, obviously your string gets compressed. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend that. It's, it's a bit dusty, but you know, we'll give it a clean soon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the desk itself. Um, over here, we've got uh, just a phone stand. Uh, I just chuck my phone on there while I'm streaming. And we've got a coaster. Um, so my drinks don't bloody, you know, have, uh, what's it called, condensation everywhere. Uh, but yeah, here's my chair. Uh, this is my office chair that I use for everything apart from when I'm using the racing wheel. Um, it's a IKEA, uh, it's a chair from IKEA. It's called the Langefell or Langefall. Um, it's a Swedish name, so yeah, uh, it suits me well. Um, it's nothing spectacular, but uh, I know it's comfortable for me and I've gotten used to it, so I like it. Um, also, ignore the carpet in this video. It's very, I mean, this is a rental house, so the carpet's kind of all messed up, but uh, it's pretty dirty right now. <laughs> I've got blue carpet and it just looks so gross when shit gets on it, and I'm not going to bother cleaning it because we're moving soon. I'll, I'll clean it once we move out. Uh, but last but not least, uh, <laughs> my aircon, um, absolute lifesaver with the heat here in Australia, um, or even if I want to, you know, put the heating on uh, for when it's cold in the mornings. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my setup. Uh, over here on the left, we've obviously got uh, the window, which I've actually, if you can see, I've pretty much put black paper on the entirety of the window, because when I first moved in this house, um, I had terrible headaches and eye strain and I figured it's because the curtains of this window uh, which we weren't allowed to replace are so shit they're completely shit the light fully comes through glare on my monitor glare on, like light in my eyes and it was 
yeah, it was so bad. So I, I put black paper on it just so no light would come through. Um, but yeah, I think that's the setup tour done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll uh, head back out the door now. Um, yeah, like I said, never done something like this before. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to make sure I got this done to show where I've been streaming from for the my you know for the last 10 months and my first 10 months of streaming but yeah thank you all for watching i hope you do enjoy let me know in the comments i guess if you uh if you enjoyed it or you know maybe some other ideas for youtube videos and stuff um but yeah it's weird pre-recording something um because i'm so used to streaming but yeah that's it subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed check out my streams on twitch uh I stream pretty much every single day except for mondays and tuesdays at the moment um, but yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Is this a fatal attraction or something brand new? I got a strange emotion. Do you feel it too? Tell me what's on your mind.